So today I'm gonna to be inoculating a garden bed with morel mushrooms. And there are a few companies in the world that do grow morels indoors and some companies outdoors. But today I'm gonna to be showing you a simple way to inoculate a garden bed with morel mushrooms. So most morel mushrooms are actually ectomycorrhizal, which means they require a tree host in order to grow and produce mushrooms. But there's two species that have been found to be more saprophytic. And those species are Morchella importuna and Morchella rufo brunea. And these species are usually found in wood chip beds, in mulch, and various other garden beds. The easiest way to inoculate these mushrooms in a wood chip bed is to get some spawn. And I would recommend making your own spawn if you can, because those morel grow kits are actually scammed. And I'll cover that in a different video. But in order to grow morels, you actually need sclerotia. So what I did was basically I made a spawn mixture of organic grains, wood chips, and sawdust, about an equal part of each three. And I mixed those together, sterilized those, and I inoculated them with a culture of Morchella importuna. So these are basically clumps of sclerotia that grew off of the grains in the jar. And hopefully we'll get some morel mushrooms because we actually have sclerotia. All I'm gonna do is mix this spawn into a fresh wood chip bed. And if you don't have fresh wood chips, what you can do is pasteurize wood chips by soaking them for a week in water. And then once you dump the water out, those wood chips should be pasteurized enough to inoculate with spawn of your choosing. And even though this mushroom has been shown to be saprophytic, I'm inoculating it into an asparagus bed just to see what will happen. Because there's a possibility that it does require some type of exudates or other bacteria or fungi from plants to initiate fruiting. And all I'm gonna to do to inoculate the bed is mix the spawn into the wood chips, cover it with a layer of wood chips, and then let it colonize over the winter. And then hopefully by the spring, we'll get some morel mushrooms. This is more experimental, but if you have any questions, you could leave me a comment. I hope this is helpful. Have a great day.